Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick review of the Harbor Freight portable wheel balancer and a combo how to balance a wheel video here. This is the um, balancer they sell. Item number is 39741. Used one of these for quite a few years. It was a little different, had a red base, but uh, same principle behind the thing. It, um, you have this bubble on top. You can see that bubble there. The black dot in the center should be in the center of the circle, and the bubble should be centered within the circle. If you move it here, you can see it goes out of the circle depending on which way the uh, whatever whatever you call it the top portion is leaning it is a little cheesy it's got these three screws on top to quote unquote adjust the balance of the tool itself when I got it the bubbles way off to the side and I had to crank those until it was in the center um, I don't know why they can't just you know build the thing to where it's actually balanced from the factory I guess those thomas just cost too much money for them and it probably wouldn't be affordable. So, the old one that I had didn't have that. I don't believe. But, here you go. We just drop the tire down over it. And, uh, the bubble is on this side. Which means that's the lighter side of the tire. So, we'll go get a weight. Let's see. I'll start with one and a quarter. And you just line it up with the bubble and see where it moves to. And that actually is pretty stinking close to centered. Yep, I'm going to call that good. Go get your hammer. You can use a play hammer. They make these wheel weight hammer plier combos. They're not that much money. It's got this tool that hooks inside the weight for removing them and you got your little anvil there for pounding them on. I bought this one on Amazon, it wasn't it wasn't even ten bucks. I guess I'll put a link in the description for you. Fire number two. It's probably best to mark where the weight is or just find a visual reference on the tire. Uh, for me there's so much small print I just pick a number or a letter rather, and wind back up with that. After that, stick it back on. If you get your weight hammered on, make sure it's still uh, balanced. And that looks good to me. Give you a, one more shot of what it should look like. It's balanced here. It'll all want. Oh, come on, focus. And I'm not quite centered over the, see if I move the camera one way or the other, that bulb really moves. I'm not quite looking straight down, it's hard to get it lined up. But in theory, that bubble's dead center on that circle. So, that's all there is to it. It, for my, my only nitpick of it is, oh, those little adjustment screws, I think they should have just machined the thing so it was balanced from the factory, but really that's not that big of a deal. It says there's assembly required, all you need to do is attach this nut right here to attach the stem inside of the uh, whatever, you, whatever you call this thing the level leveling contraption so it's got some little pockets down here uh, you can't see them because the, they're down there through the tire you can store your weights in there or whatever you want to do I don't mess with that I just throw it on the shelf keep the weights in a box but it's functional. I think it was $79, I want to say. Of course, you know, you use 25% coupon off. Don't ever pay full price for anything at Harbor Freight. Let's see, I got here. I'll dig it out real quick for you. Harbor Freight. And it was. Yep. $79.99. 20 off, so I paid $59.99 for it. And that was yesterday, December 8th, 2017. Alright, you guys have a good day.